Phil McAuliffe has done the job from the drop of the green. He started on the outside of the front row. Libby was the pole sitter, and Phil McAuliffe is under pressure now with two to run. He probably knew the heat would be coming, and he feels like he's got this far. Maybe he's clear. Look at the push again from Scott Endel. Boy, he lost some ground as the white flag is out, but there's two back markers right ahead of your leader. If anyone's good enough, and oh, it's Farah! Climbs over on the main straightaway. Knocks the front end out of the 11, and that is all she wrote. We are red, one lap from home. Boy, I hope Stump is A-OK -okay there. Greg Hurrell, our 40-something year flag waver. Gee whiz, that was close. Brenton was racing the wheels off the 34, trying to get his way to position number two. Just climbed over the left front. Good news is that Scott Enderl is out of the SA11. And good news even better for Brenton Farrer. Come on, Geelong, put your hands together for Smooch. Holy, that was that was big time. It was close a couple of times. I only just started saying, Jake, that neither driver had been able to put a really good clean lap. There was a couple of pushes, in particular in turn number four, and that was the catalyst for that one. Endurl was wide, and Smooch thought he had an opportunity to dive through on the inside. And unfortunately, it just happened so quickly on a hooked-up racetrack. That's so unfortunate. So the best thing is yeah. that both drivers are A-OK. -okay. Of course. The race day medical outfit, only just still seeing the big Jack Van Bremen, now has Smooch to attend to as well. Good news is he's able to climb out of the 34. That has got some serious damage. Boy, did it get some air time. And it was just about trying to straighten up, I believe, for Scott Andell. He was just coming out of turn four. Those two were battling out for lap after lap. He obviously got a little bit deep into three and four and tried to straighten up, and Farrell was coming in. And we just know how challenging and difficult this track is at the moment to turn on a dime. And when you've got sprint cars like this, you can't exactly just get out of the way. But both were going at it, and unfortunately both will... Look like they'll record a DNF after a, a grueling battle, and it was one that was entertaining from the start. As soon as that green flag dropped, these guys were moving up positions. They were trying to find their groove, and, and they were going at it for over half heat race distance between Endow and Farron. To end like this is a little bit disappointing. Yeah, absolutely. No question that we thought at one point Scott Endow was going towards the front. Phil McAuliffe in the 11 was the race-long leader. Scott Endel got to him a couple of times, then would pick up a push, lose some ground, get back to the tail of the race leader. And unfortunately, it ends in disaster on the main straightaway for both Scott Endel and Brenton Farrer. So a couple of torn up race cars right there on the main straightaway. Jack Van Bremen, good news is that he's out walking back to the pit area with his stricken race car as well in the 16. So still looks like one as we go back to the last completed lap with one to run. We'll go back to two to complete. So Phil McAuliffe should lead this one off. Daniel Pesca will now go to position number two at this restart. The other driver that it benefits greatly is Chris Solomon. The V11 will restart from three. Libby Ellis, Nigel Leite, Thomas McDonald, Jack Van Bremen, unfortunately out of this one along with Scott Endurl and Brenton Farrer. Gee, so heat race number four really, really changes the outlook going into the next couple of nights as well, Jakey. Not only tonight, but tomorrow night with a couple of our fancied contenders right there on the main straightaway getting together. Yeah, it certainly does. And just uh, unfortunately that this has to happen. And we know that these guys are going to put everything on the line. It doesn't matter if it's qualifying or heat racing there's so much to benefit out of this weekend and night number one you've got to move up that one or two spots that could be the difference in terms of a row that you start on and even a prelim final here tonight and moving on to tomorrow night every spot in a national title